us through your thought process and how you evaluate a pot or a plant and you see how the two might go together nicely. Okay, a couple different things. I either look for something that can really elevate the plant and maybe has some repetition in it um, and, and or I might look for something that, uh, yes, exactly, where you've got this beautiful plant here that definitely is going to continue to show his roots. Yeah. Um, the, uh, elevated roots. That repeats the bottom oh, trunk perfect. with this, and I just fell in love. So we have a very organic looking, almost uh, like pulled out of the ground, wet clay look to this pot. And the color and texture of the surface of the pot perfectly repeat the color and texture of the elevated roots of this trichodiadema bulbosa. He was one we couldn't pronounce. Now <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to have this nice texture contrast coming up from the plant itself, the top of the plant. It couldn't be more perfect. It and then perfect. we will just need to find the perfect top dressing for it. Oh, that'll be fun. You notice too that the scale and proportion between the two is, is just right on. It's going to be interesting to see just how high you do plant that. Are you going to try to reveal more of those roots? Well, I think I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with this uh -huh. pot because you see it has dips in it, so I don't want to go too high and mm -hmm. then have uh, dirt or my top dressing go out or expose the roots too much and stress the plant. So I think it'll be maybe a little lower. Uh -huh. So let's see how easy this baby is to get out of here. I think he's actually pretty wow, easy. pops right out of there. Yeah, I don't think that they, um, they, they will have long, you know, there we go. So and we'll just use this wonderful soil that came with it. Oh, yeah. You probably want that line to continue up into. Yeah. The, so what do you what do you, what can do you evaluate you? each root? Right. See how that I that don't. line is going to take you right up into that root. Like the the pot is part of the root, which I love. Exactly. Uh, the V shape in the pot uh, could emphasize one of the roots yeah. too. I don't think you can go wrong. It's just a, a matter of choosing the best of several options. Yeah. The eye follows the line. You, you get yeah. that sense that. The, the pot and the plant are one, which is always a really cool thing to achieve. All right. uh, different height uh, variations are a little more difficult, but oh, the end yeah. result is usually worth it. It almost this looks bones, I guess. Yeah, it sure does. You, you will have to decide what's going to go in that separation point. Yes, I think we may have to find, which I have lots of really gorgeous rocks. We might have to find one that's just the right size. Thank I think you, Rock Fairy. Okay, our Rock Fairy has joined us. And again, we're going to look for something about the. Oh, I, there's some quite a few good things here. Oh. Uh, very organic. Oh, this oh. is this it's is a nice bridge. And look at that. Yeah. Kind of fits right in that it hole. It doesn't cause. It doesn't call too much attention to itself. It has a structural purpose. I love it. it. It works with the textures it and the sure colors. It sure does. Let's see if this is too much. It may. It may be. We may just need the one. I'd like, I, I like to like. Shove that in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just put the rock there like that. A little I barrier. That. I like yeah. that too. Okay. So you can see it just. Want to give it a little more support with the, with these dips in the pot, but keep the plant high. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't think it needs anything else. We don't want to overdo it. This the first. Yeah, keep it out of direct sun. Yeah, definitely. Let it make sure it likes its new home. And nice. things don't. And this like is definitely a plant with a front and a back. Uh -huh. uh, um, so this would definitely be a plant I would have, you know, facing out. And then we well, need our. Top dressing. Uh, the sand's not terrible. Yeah, but it's the wrong color sand. Yeah, it's too light. What do you do when you dump top dressing on to try it out? And I push it down. It. I spread. Oh, yeah. I spread it around. You just cover it. You don't try to I, dig it out. I huh? spread it around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and push yeah. it down yeah. with the dirt, and a new top dressing okay. goes on. So In the old the days, tip. I'd have the uh, you know the yeah. tweezers and picking uh -huh. the stuff out or tipping it all. Now nah, it's it takes too long, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not really worth it. I think some of these are are too. Our top dressings are too big for this arrangement. This, because it's the mm -hmm. smallest, yeah, it's pretty so. tiny. <laughs> we hate it, shove it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do. I like that a lot. Yeah, and I think if we spritz it just a little bit, I think because it's a little bit, this is very Ooh, du dusty. Wow. Um, I do like it. Uh -huh. If you want it to stay this color and look glossy, which on this particular arrangement might be something worthwhile doing. I have seen people use dilute white glue. Oh! Yeah, and it, it's 
natural enough that it you doesn't paint it on or you a little yeah, spray well, yeah you kind of uh well you put it in a squeeze bottle oh a squeeze yeah, bottle oh them. nice yeah, they'll do that sometimes when they're shipping arrangements but right it, it does deteriorate over time but that's fine uh, it doesn't seem to harm the plant in the slightest and it does keep a shine on the, nice. on the rocks mm -hmm.